Hello and uh, welcome to Godly Thoughts uh, with um, Komatasi. Our scripture reading for today is from Mark 12, verse 41. Now, Jesus went and stood near the collection box and he saw rich people dropping large amounts of money. Remember, this is not a bad thing. For a rich person to come and give 10,000 US dollars at the church is not a bad thing. The church needs money to operate. Jesus was not there to mock the rich people who were giving money. He was not worried that rich people were giving money. The church was built there by the contributions of the people. In fact, many times in our lives, we need money to move, uh, to continue operating. Money answers all things. So Jesus was not there because he had a grudge against rich people. He, he himself was the richest people, the person there, I might add. He owns everything, including the people who are giving that money. So his concern was not that rich people were giving money. He watched until a poor lady came and gave the least amount. But Jesus, understanding the circumstances of this lady, knew that she had given the largest amount that she has. These days in church, people are in a competition to outdo each other when it comes to giving, which is good. Because the church needs money, and if people are not giving really, basically, the church will close down. Some people rent classrooms. Some rent instruments, some use fuel and electricity every day and money is needed. But the motive behind your giving is what Jesus was addressing in this particular scenario. Why did you give 10,000 US dollars? This woman gave with all her heart and Jesus commended her for it. Sometimes we don't do things with all our heart, we do it for status. We do it because we want people to commend us. This is why sometimes you give and there seems to be no reward. This is why sometimes people say, ah, he used to give a lot at church. We don't know why he seems not to be getting any reward from God. We need to be careful why we do what we do before God. Because God always looks at the heart, not what you did. If you visited someone who is in hospital, why did you do it? If you gave your car to the church, why did you do it? If you give your heart to be... Uh, taken out, if you become an organ donor and you want your heart to be uh, transplanted and be given to someone else, why are you doing Even if you give your kidney, why are you doing it? God looks at the attitude, God looks at the heart. And if the heart is not right, he does not accept the gift. God is not obsessed with the gift, he is obsessed with the giver and why the giver has done what they've done. This is why sometimes people are really wasting their time in many churches giving. You can give and it can still be a waste of time if your motive for giving is not right, if your attitude is not correct, if the reason you give is not right. You need to understand that only God looks at the heart. People cannot see the heart. People always appreciate that you have given. People always are impressed by the superficial things that are on the ground. But people don't take note of the fact that you can give for absolutely wrong reason. There are some people who adopted orphans so that they can fundraise with them. I know a certain group of people who have orphanages. It's a church that has orphanages, but they simply use those orphans for fundraising and they go and buy Range Rovers and Hiluxes while those orphans lead med mediocre lives. Because if those orphans look like they're now well off, the donations will stop coming. So they always need to look poor all the time. There's someone who is sending food to their mother so that they can go to the family group to always say, today I send the whole grocery. To her. And some of you here you are doing nothing. It makes them feel better to do it. Why are you doing what you are doing? Are you doing it for God? Why are you giving away your highlights your high to go and pick up the pastor and bring him to the church every time? If you are doing it for God, then God bless you. But if you are doing it for yourself and to gain status, then you have already received your reward. And it is so small. It is just the attention of people and the recognition of people, which is so fleeting. Sometimes a person more richer than you comes, does better things than you, and you are left jealous, and everything you did is thrown away. Sometimes you do things because you think people will acknowledge you and will stand with you in your time of need. Let me tell you, people are so untrustworthy. People are so unreliable. When you need them the most, they are not there. You would have taken care of their kids. You would have done this. You would have made sure they had food to eat. But as long as you have nothing, they will forsake you and go for the next person who has it. So do it for God. Give for God. Uh, today, uh, I want to wish someone who is giving uh, a blessed day. 
and uh, to encourage them to do it uh, with the true intentions of uh, ministering to God. Otherwise, uh, ciao and have a blessed day.